The German government has supplied Ukraine with another batch of military aid, which includes air defense means, ammunition and armored vehicles. Lately Germany has supplied Ukraine with 10 Martyr Infantry combat vehicles with ammunition and spare parts, ammunition for Leopard 2 tanks and 7,500 rounds of 155mm ammunition. The armed forces of Ukraine also received a Skynex anti-aircraft rocket system with ammunition, almost 30,000 projectiles for Jeopard self-propelled anti-aircraft systems, and unspecified quantity of missiles for the Iris TSLM air defense system and a TRML-4D aerial surveillance radar station. The list also includes a Beaver bridge-laying tank, a DSHS armored engineering vehicle, nine minesweepers, self-protection systems for the AMPS helicopters, 60 outboard motors, 600 LED lamps and six tows for the transportation of M1070 tanks. Germany also provided 18,000 rounds of 40mm ammunition, 3,000 portable anti-tank manual grenade launchers RGW90, 120mm mortar ammunition, almost 2,000 camouflage nets, 2,000 raincoats and 100,000 first aid kits for the troops. The commander-in-chief of the armed forces of Ukraine, Oleksandr Syrsky, admitted that the situation on the front line has worsened, that Russia is actively attacking along the entire front and has achieved tactical success in some areas. The colonel general wrote about this in a telegram. The situation at the front has worsened. The enemy, trying to seize the strategic initiative and break through the front line, created a significant advantage in forces and means, and concentrated his main efforts in several directions. Active attacks are carried out along the entire front line, and there are tactical successes in some directions, he stressed, the commander-in-chief added that individual positions change from hand to hand several times during the day, which leads to unambiguous understanding of the situation. At the same time, he noted that they have observed an increase in the number and regrouping of Russian soldiers in the direction of Kharkiv, our troops are reinforced with artillery and tank units in the most dangerous directions. Much of the fighting has been taking place around Chesivyar, a Kiev-controlled stronghold which Russia has been trying to reach after seizing Avdiivka and new defensive lines had been taken up further to the west in some areas, with Sersky conceding the loss of territory to the advancing Russians. IT should be recalled that earlier, the spokesman of the Pentagon, Patrick Ryder, announced that the United States has started supplying Kiev with the main weapons needed by Ukraine. Navalny could have been killed behind Putin's back, ex-MI6 officer. Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny was killed in prison. The murder could have been orchestrated behind the back of Russian President Vladimir Putin, according to the former MI6 officer Chris Steele. He spoke about this with Ukrainian Jenny Meets channel. I don't have definite information on that, but obviously, I sometimes think of a parallel case of Nelson Mandela when he was imprisoned on Robben Island and the South African authorities while holding him in prison and they won't let him out or whatever, realizing that in the longer term, Mandela would be a potential leader of the country who could unify the country and therefore, he shouldn't be out, dropping the regime, but not should he be tortured or killed because he was an insurance policy, in a sense politically, which turned out to be the right policy actually in South Africa. But I think in Russia it was not that case. I think he was killed, Steele said. The former British intelligence officer noted that he doesn't know who could be behind Navalny's killing. I mean the problem with Russia as you know is that although Putin is in charge, everyone's afraid of him. They also are doing all sorts of things behind his back, including killing each other, damaging each other and discrediting each other, which was going on for years, the former officer said. Steele pointed out numerous cases of Russian oil executives' deaths. There were five in Look Oil alone last year. That doesn't suggest a stable leadership, he added. In February 2024, Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny died in a Russian prison where he had been since 2021 when he returned to Russia. Russia claims that Navalny's cause of death was a thrombus. The EU and NATO imposed sanctions against Russia following the opposition leader's death. Some Western media outlets speculated that Russian dictator Vladimir Putin was involved in Navalny's death. 
However, the Wall Street Journal recently reported, citing American intelligence services, that Putin may not have given the order for Navalny's killing, though this does not absolve him of responsibility.